Good evening. It is 10 to 8 on Wednesday evening. Hmm. I see the sunset. I see. It. I wonder if it'll show. <gasps> Pretty. Isn't that beautiful? Thought I'd show that. So pretty. Anyways, anyone who happens to be watching, how you doing? How was your day? <sighs> we were warm today. Not crazy warm or anything, but I mean, I can't believe there are people that have their fucking furnaces on right now. Like, Jesus. Jesus. Stop it. <clears throat> it's actually really nice out right now. It's a little crisp. I've had my windows open the last, I don't know, three days now, I guess. Two and a half days. And then during the day, I just make sure all my ceiling fans and stuff are on. Because it has been, there's been a little bit of humidity the last couple of days. So, I believe come tomorrow and then for the next three to five days there's supposed to be no humidity so that'll be nice excuse me i'm in a bit of a carb coma sorry we have pizza tonight and caesar salad and it was a long day of work today my arms are so sore well, they're not really sore. They're tired. They had a workout today. We had a... We call it a move-out clean. So, in this instance, somebody had been renting a house. And moved out. And the um, landlord or whatever... Asked us to come and clean up um, after this tenant so that she could, you know, bring new people in to look at the place. So that's fine. But they're a lot of work. They're, and they're always a shit show. Oh my God. There's always something. Something. There's always some kind of fuckery. This clean out was interesting because. It had, and I haven't used or cleaned one of these since I PSW'd, <laughs> but it had one of those walk-in tubs. You open the door, you walk in, you sit down, you shut the door, and you can fill the tub, and it's got all the jets, and it's got like a handheld shower thing and whatever, and they're really neat. Um... <clears throat> but they can be a bit of a pain in the ass to clean. And although, thankfully, the the directions for how to lock and unlock the door are still on the tub. Because it can, they're all a little different. Same idea, but a little different. Um, they can be a bitch to use. Excuse me, holy crap. So, and you do kind of have to be careful with the parts that seal, like the door where it seals to the tub and stuff, because if it doesn't seal properly, you get flooding. So, I had to uh, give those areas of this tub a little extra TLC because they were getting quite... Um, Quite mucked up with like hard water stains and all that kind of stuff. And I thought, ooh, you don't want one of those bitches leaking. I mean, they fill up. They, they take a lot of water. They take a lot of water. Um, I mean, you know, a, a grown adult sits in this tub and you can fill that fucker like right to the neck if you, meh, shoulder-ish maybe for your average tighted person. Um you know, no problem. Yeah, your, your body is completely submerged in these tubs. They hold a lot of water. And you most definitely don't want them leaking. So, <clears throat> clean.
clean those out and I clean the jets out as best I could. And the jets actually weren't bad at all. Usually, a lot of times, and I think it's mainly with um, people that don't use them at all. The the jets get clogged with dust and crap, and oh, it's disgusting. And and they are bitched clean. Um, but it was fine. I just, I found it extremely interesting. I haven't used, like I said, I haven't worked with one of those tubs since I PSW'd, so. It's been a while. <laughs> um, but it was a cute place. It was a bungalow. It had a basement. We didn't think it had a basement. It didn't look from the outside like it had a basement, but. Sure enough, there was a basement, so there was a second bathroom I had to clean, so I couldn't spend the time that I kind of wanted to on this seat and tub. Oh my god, excuse me. I would have liked to have spent more time just to make sure that that seal was good and clean, but I think it's fine. It's just me being picky, but those tubs are fucking expensive so you know got to take care of those cuz you know it'd be a beast to replace <sighs> to remove even to put in like a regular tub would be f oh yeah that would be a chore but anyways and <laughs> The, I don't know, property manager, property owner, whatever the fuck, landlord, whatever you want to call them, um, left their dog at the house with us, and she fucked off somewhere. I don't know where. I don't really care. Um, and at the time, we were like, sweet. Okay, yep. Bye-bye now. Leave your dog. It's awesome. Because we play with the dogs. We, we, we love the animals. We, yeah. The people can leave. Leave your, your pets can stay. You go. <laughs> That's kind of how we feel about it. Um, and he was the cutest little thing. Oh my goodness. He was like chocolate brown. And he made these weird faces. Like when he was excited. And so it was funny. He was a cute little thing. And he never got in the way. He wasn't, you know, he wasn't needy or an attention whore or anything like that. He was just the most fantastic little boy ever. Oh my God. He was so sweet. Do I have, oh, I thought my eye was all red there for a minute. It's just a shadow. Anywho, panic. Um, but when we got everything done and we're going to leave, of course, we like we didn't have a key. Um, or the code. It was one of those codes. I hate those code locks. Um, and like I said, the dog was there, right? Like. I had taken a little bit of a break. I mean, we were there for some, we were there for probably about an hour and a half. She was like, so like two hours, three hours. We're like mm, hour and a half. It's, it's a bungalow. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. And, uh, but you know, like I said, she left the dog there. So like, we're ready to go. It's like, fucking 4 30 we've been at it since quarter to eight like we we're ready to go home you know i was hoping to get to the bank and you know deposit my paycheck and all that kind of shit go grocery shopping like i got things like i'm a busy bitch okay i got shit i gotta do always which is why I have a never-ending flow of Timmy's by my side. Because Timmy's keeps me alive. Okay? And productive. So, we're calling her. And texting her. And, you know. It's like, we told you what time we'd be done by. We were done by that time. Like, we were not joking. We were not joking. <laughs> we weren't trying to pat ourselves on the back. We weren't trying to make ourselves sound quicker than we are like I mean you know and she's not getting back to us and she's not getting back to us and my boss had been calling she she got outside before me and my co-worker did 
And I got outside a few minutes before my coworker did. So when I came out, I seen that my boss was about halfway through a cigarette and I was like, stellar, I'm going to have a smoke. Because the previous one that I had, I had to flick away like halfway through and I fucking hate doing that. Cigarettes are expensive. Um... So I was like, you know, I'm going to have a smoke. And she's like, yep. I said, okay. So, went and lit up a smoke. And waiting for my coworker to come out. She gets off the phone. My boss gets off the phone. And she's like, I've been texting and I've been calling. And she's not picking up her phone. She's not answering her texts. Talking about this landlord. And I was like, well... How's B? We wait until I'm done my smoke, and if she doesn't get back to you by the time I'm done my smoke, we get the fuck out of Dodge, because I got other shit I gotta do. Like, my day ain't over yet. Not even close. And I'm getting fucking tired. <sighs> She's like, yep, nope, same. So, we waited probably another, I don't know, five minutes or so. Long enough for my coworker to come out and me to finish my cigarette. And we packed up the van and everything. My coworker went and got in the van because the air was on. And my boss and I are sitting out finishing our smoke. Well, she's on her phone, as she always is, right? Checking shit, and double checking shit, and whatever. <laughs> Waiting for this girl to call us back. And I'm finishing my smoke. And just as I went to flick my cigarette out onto the street, She's like, fuck it, we're going out. <laughs> Sounds good to me, bud. Let's go. And to my knowledge, we haven't heard back from her yet. So it was like, five, like yeah, I don't know. Have a good night. I'm going home. Peace out, yo. My day is done. Like, fuck's sakes. <laughs> Not waiting for you. She was told. And then, because we still had to take my boss over to another customer's house to get her car, because there was fuckery today, okay? We, I think we did, what, we did three, six, so I think we did eight houses today, including that move-out clean, okay? So we did our first three, and after three houses, I have a cigarette. So our first three in the morning, and then I stood behind the van and had a smoke before moving on to the next house. Now, my boss had been following us in her car because, well, it doesn't matter. She was following us in her car, and my coworker and I had the van. So when we were leaving the third house after my cigarette, my boss had said she'd finished up her whatever the fuck it was she was doing and she'd said something to us about meeting us at whatever house, right? And we're like, yep, okay, bye. So I had my cigarette. My coworker and I tottered off to the next two houses, okay? The one lady never said anything. The next lady that we went to was like, I think we got there about noon, okay? She was like, I wasn't expecting you until like two. And me and my coworker were like, um, kidoki. <laughs> she was like, oh, I was just writing you a note because she'd switched up some stuff that she wanted done and some things that she didn't want done and was kind of swapping them out. So she was leaving those instructions for us. And she's like, well, since you're here, I'll just tell you. So she told us and whatever. It was fine. So we get this house done. Or we're just finishing up, right? Finishing up in the kitchen, right? Shining stuff and whatever. And my boss and my coworker and I were saying, like, where where'd the boss go? Like, you know, the, her husband had been through some stuff. And we're like, well, like we, well, Maybe she went home to check on him and make sure everything was okay. Like, I hope something didn't happen. Like, we're kind of starting to worry, right? And then my boss walks in. And she comes into the kitchen. And she just kind of slumps down onto the island like this. And she's kind of looking at us, right? We're like, 
you good? Like, what's up? And then she shows my coworker this text from another customer. We completely forgot another customer. We were supposed to do the like the third house that we were at when I had my cigarette. And from there, go to this other customer, like up at that end of town. Instead, we completely forgot about her and drove back into our part of town, like the main part of town, like half an hour out of the way. <laughs> we're so stupid. <laughs> and it never clicked in when the other lady was like, oh, we wasn't expecting you to, and we're there at like fucking noon. <laughs> we're like, oh, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. Sorry. <laughs> shit and I guess this lady was pissed now we now this lady I've only actually spoken to her including today twice okay I make it a point to avoid actually speaking to the customers at all costs <laughs> My main job is cleaning the bathrooms, which is pretty much what everybody wants done. Doing the rest of the house is gravy, but everybody wants their fucking bathrooms done. That is their main reason for hiring cleaners. Especially these bougie people with these big fucking ginormous soaker tubs and glass showers and fucking... Oh, they, they love having them, but they don't want to fucking clean them. So, I just go head down, mouth shut, and I go directly to the bathroom. I, I, I do not. No, no, no. Do not acknowledge that I'm here. I am a ghost. You don't see me. You don't hear me. I do what I gotta do, and I get the fuck out of Dodge. We're good. It's fine. Well, this lady, hmm, she's, she's... A neat freak is, is a mild way to put it, okay? She is exceptionally clean. Ridiculously clean. Compulsively clean. And she's forever bitching about something. Like, she'll leave us little lists and little, like... Whatever. It's just annoying. And she was, you know, being really nasty to my boss, who is actually very, very patient, very, very sweet. Like, just fucking dumb. And she was starting to get upset with this girl. And didn't understand why she was so pissed off, and then realized that my coworker and I fucking totally forgot about her. And even my boss said, like, it's fine. Like, shit happens. She's the shitty thing is, the, the thing that makes it shitty is that she's one of our bitchier clients, right? And can't accept the fact that shit happens sometimes. Like, if we're two minutes early, she's pissed. If we're two minutes late, she's pissed. Like, Like, today, I would get being frustrated. I would totally get, like, I totally get that. We fucked up. But we owned it. We didn't make an excuse. We, you know, it was like, yep, yeah, we totally forgot. My bad. Like, sorry. Like, you know. And my boss is trying to reschedule. Like, we can res because she's got, she's got a little baby. And an I think the other one is just school age. So she wanted to get the baby down for a nap, but she didn't want to get the baby down for a nap until we were done, right? And so my boss is like, well, I'll reschedule you. Like, I'll, I, I will fit you in tomorrow. Like, it will get done. You know, I am so sorry. My girls are so sorry. Like, she was like, nope, nope, my day is today. I'll wait. Well, then your kid's not getting a fucking nap. Like, I'm just saying. Because <laughs> it was like fucking two o'clock or something like that before we got there. <laughs> you know, like, sorry, <laughs> but I'm here to tell you when we got there, 
she was in the main floor and we walked in, you know, and the first thing out of her mouth was, hey, you know, like, hello, cleaners. And when she came out, she said, hello. And we, we, all three of us were like, so sorry, my bad, like, so sorry. And she was like, oh, yeah, no problem. It's fine. Like, you know, big smile on her face, whatever the fuck. And downstairs she went. So we're like. Kidoki. start cleaning <laughs> like do not fuck around get this done get the fuck out because we still had two other places to do so I get done my bathrooms up like on the main floor it's it's kind of a bungalow too and I go downstairs because there's a there's a bathroom downstairs and she's sitting down there with the little baby and her husband works at home. So he's working on his computer or whatever the fuck in behind her. So I come down with my mop and my bucket or my broom and my bucket of goodies to do the bathroom. And I hadn't seen this baby since we started working here. So I was like, oh my God, like he's getting so big, like blah, blah, blah. And I'm kind of gushing over the baby. And you know, he starts making faces at me and that's it. I'm done. I'm like, oh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> a handsome boy and just being a complete fucking idiot right babies man babies so and she was smiling ear to ear and you know like no issues she was she wasn't impatient she wasn't rude she like she you know she's like oh yes love love on my baby absolutely you know like mm -hmm. so i finished up down there and proceeded to go outside while my co-worker finished vacuuming and had a cigarette with my boss and I said you know like mm, her tune, her tunes sure changed real fucking quick now didn't it like as soon as we got there it's like you know okay the world's not ending the house is getting done it's fine like calm the fuck on and I'm here to tell you, her husband did not say lick or boo. Usually, usually when we go, it's just either me and my coworker or the three of us and him. And he is usually getting his lunch or a snack or something when we get there. And then he goes downstairs to work. Right? <clears throat> Sometimes if he's eating when we get there, we'll be like, okay... You stay there in the kitchen to eat. We'll start in the basement and get that done. And then we'll come up here. You can go to, and we're not bothering you while you're working, right? We have a system and it works very well. But he is super, super friendly, right? Like he's a little, he's a little ignorant. Like he can't read the room. You know, shit just comes out of his mouth and it's like, if I wasn't working right now. <laughs> <laughs> you and I would be having a conversation. <laughs> I can't believe. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I mean, he's very sociable. He's, you know, very friendly. He wants to chit chat. He wants to joke around when he's on break or whatever, and then go to work and it's, it's all fine. Right. He did not say a goddamn word. He didn't even say hello. He didn't greet us like nothing. So, we were saying in the van, you know, I'll bet you 10 to 1 that he's heard her bitch since 11 o'clock this morning because, we, because we're usually there somewhere between like 10, 30 and 11 ish. Right. And either way, she's pissed. She's either pissed that we're there a little earlier or that for whatever, we might be running two or three minutes behind. Like, come the fuck on. <sighs> Can't win. Can't win. So we're thinking, you know, he had to hear all this. So he was like all shell shocked and withdrawn and stuff. Oh, fuck. It was so funny. Oh, my God. Dealing with people. Fuck me. They're too fickle. But it was a good day. I mean, whatever, you know. We got a, we got a full eight hour day. Yeah, we pretty much got a full, yeah. 
So there's that. <clears throat> I'm a little stuffed up tonight. I don't know if it's that that move out house wasn't it wasn't dirty. I mean I've done some nasty ass move out houses. But I think I think there's a bit of dust in there. Kind of bugging me a little bit. And we are coming up on ragweed season, which is like <clears throat> I fucking hate that shit. Ugh. I'm in hell until that shit, until we get a frost, until we get a freeze. And that shit dies. Oh my fucking God. Oh, oh dear. Excuse me. Yeah, so it was an interesting day. So I came home. Like I said, I got home about, about five-ish. Not quite five. And, uh, ran in the house and check the calendar because I knew that Boo Boo was working but I couldn't remember until what time and it turned out he was done at five. I was like fuck. So I gave Monkey a hug and I said okay I gotta text your brother and let him know I'm on my way so I'm just gonna go get your brother and then I'm gonna come home. I was like yeah okay mama. So excuse me. I texted Boo Boo and let him know you know I'm leaving the house right now I will be there to get you. No worries. And he was waiting outside when I got there. And uh, picked him up. No problem. Went and got a coffee. Came home. And I gathered the boys in the kitchen. And I said, okay. The original plan today was for me to go grocery shopping after work. That is not going to happen. What is going to happen is that this bitch is going to sit out on the porch. Have a couple of cigarettes. Have a little bit of coffee. Then I'm going to order a pizza. Get in the shower. <laughs> and when I am done the shower, I'm going to go to the bank and deposit my fucking paycheck. So that it clears by Friday. Then I'll go grocery shopping. And when I'm done depositing my check, I will go pick up the pizza, come home and feed everybody. And they're like, yeah, okay, sure. And they scatter, right? <laughs> And I'm like, I just want to sit the fuck down. <laughs> so, I sat down for a little bit. I had a couple of cigarettes and I watched a little bit of YouTube and had a little bit of coffee. And so now it's like 5.30, quarter to 6, right? So, I was like, alright. So, I phoned and ordered the pizza. They were like, it's going to be about 45 minutes. I thought, oh, fucking perfect perfect so I had my shower got all clean and smooth and smelling like a human being and you know instead of a butthole and drove over to the bank deposited my check and I'd set a timer <laughs> for the pizza by the time I finished all that and got out of the bank I had about four minutes to wait. So I was like, yeah, I, I can make it there in less than four minutes. I can make it there in time for a cigarette. Yep, I did. Yep, I did. One at a town to the other in like, eh. well, and I wasn't speeding. I don't speed. <laughs> well, technically, I don't speed. Anyways. <laughs> Got to the pizza place. My timer still hadn't gone off yet. I still had a couple minutes. So I, I, they're only allowing like two people in the, in the place at a time. So I thought, fuck, whatever. I took a seat on the hood of the car. And I had a smoke. Give me. And there was a couple people in the lineup outside. So I thought, fuck, like, I'm not in a huge hurry. So. Um... Then my uh, alarm went off. I was probably about halfway through my cigarette. And I was like, yeah, it's all good. By the time I finished my cigarette, the line was gone. And I went and got the pizza. I ended up picking up a Caesar salad. I didn't order it originally. I was like, can I be, can I be that pain in the ass customer and get you to add on a Caesar salad? Like, I'm hungry. And I didn't want to eat a whole shit ton of pizza because I wanted to bring one or two slices to work tomorrow. 
So they were cool. They did that. You know, I was like, I'm really sorry. I hate to be that customer. I hate those customers. I didn't particularly want to be that customer, but I was hungry and I wanted to sell it. So he was like, yeah, sure. So he gave me the salad and I went home. Fed everybody. Oh, goodness. <clears throat> Watched a little bit more YouTubes. Had more coffee. And then, uh, that I should go vlog before it gets too dark, as it is now. <coughs> so when I get home, I am so stuffed up, it's driving me crazy. So when I get home, I have to clean up my kitchen. And empty my dishwasher. And I think that'll be about the long and the short of it. I might... Oh, I was supposed to make monkey and egg last night. And I forgot for breakfast. Al. Maybe I'll do it for tonight. And he can have it tomorrow. <laughs> Bad mama. No, he's got a little bit of cereal left. He can fucking have that. He Make him an egg for Friday. Fuck it. I'm tired. <laughs> God damn it. Anyway. I think that'll, yeah, I, I think that'll about do it for the night. I am, I am, I am beat. Holy moly. Yeah, I don't know. Anywho, this will be a quick log. We'll do half an hour is good. I'm going to jump and go home and do what I need to do at home and uh, make sure Monkey makes his lunch and all that stuff and whatever. So anybody who happens to be watching, have a great night. Take care of yourself and we'll talk later.